Hi there, my name is Norm Young and I'm a Microsoft MVP coming to you from St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada. I'd like to focus on Microsoft Lists, Microsoft Teams and SharePoint. And I'd like to extend the functionality of these platforms using tools like Power Automate. Uh, our friends at Microsoft have asked that I uh, uh, write a short blog article on, on how to customize lists um, and some of my best practices and maybe showcase some of the solutions along the way. So. In this example form, it's called Issue Tracker, and as you guess, it's going to write this new issue into the Issue Tracker list. Uh, I've filled out the information. Uh, I've attached a, a file, and when I click Submit, it will kick off our workflow. And our workflow is in Power Automate, and it'll process uh, these new forms. It will get the, the details to the, the responses. It'll do things like try and resolve the, the usernames that are uh, included inside of the uh, form submission in the form of assigned to and issue logged by. Uh, it will create the, uh, the entry inside of the list. Here's our list here. And then it will loop through and do some magic to get the users assigned to and the user that uh, logged the issue. We'll do some funky stuff with uh, JSON uh, to, to get some results out. And then finally, we will go through and we will do things like adding the attachment. So let's give this a test. And we'll do this manually. So that's waiting. And now I'm going to click Submit. We can see the submission is happening. We get this nice prompt. Now we can see that our uh, Power Automate flow is running and it's trying to resolve the, who the different users are. Uh, it's gone through, it's figured out the attachment, and now it's, if we come over, we see that we've created the new entry based on the form submission. Um, we've got this great out of the box uh, column formatting. Um, the people card, we were able to resolve our user correctly. Uh, all of these great uh, bits of information are here for me to uh, either leverage for analysis using something like Power BI or further automation using Power Automate. So uh, these, these three tools, forms, it's out of the box and available to you. Power Automate uh, should be available to you. Microsoft List should be available to you as well. We combine those three, we extend functionality and we configure it into a solution. And this would be a great use case for uh, some type of uh, uh, application or, or submission process where you don't want to uh, um, turn this into a very large traditional IT project. So one of the next things that has come out is the uh, the, the ability to uh, take a, a list that you've created and uh, package it up as a template uh, that others can utilize. And so uh, this is a, this would be something done in, in conjunction with uh, IT or a SharePoint administrator where you would uh, execute uh, PowerShell commands to, to create a a list that would be used as that organizational wide template. So the, 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 the great thing about this is not that you can create that template, but that you can take all of the value and all of the effort that someone else has put into that list that serves your function that others might be able to capitalize on as well. And you can extend that functionality easily by creating that template and putting that function in your user's hands. So we've got this uh, particular list, it's in a site called PMO and it's called projects. And so now I want to uh, go through the, the steps of, of doing the PowerShell to, to add these things. And yes, PowerShell isn't going to be a citizen developer type thing, but uh, you'll see that it doesn't take long to do this. So I'm, I'm doing copying and pasting in the background. And I'll fire in the first command and uh, we have a variable, we run some PowerShell scripts and the variable stores the, the definition. All right, now let me do one more. And now we're going to add what's called a site script and it spits out uh, an ID number that we're going to have to document. So let me copy and paste this into my notepad window that I have on the other side. And so what we've done is we've extracted the commands to uh, uh, create the list schema from that projects list inside of the PMO site. And now we're using uh, the, the output from the site script uh, to add it to the, the site, the, uh, the, the tenant, I should say. And now we've created this design. We've given it some metadata, like, like a description, the title, uh, even a nice uh, icon. Um, and so now I can go back to um, Microsoft Lists and I will go to a new list and you'll notice the templates that are available. You'll notice things like the issue tracker, which I like to use. These are Microsoft delivered templates that uh, you can use and um, they're a great starting point, assuming that you're, 
that they fit your use case. But if I click now into from your organization, we see that the projects list has now been created. And I click this, I get a preview of what's happening here. I can use the template. Uh, I can uh, give it a new name. I could give it a color and click create and a location. And, and just like that, the, uh, the, the time to, uh, to value is significantly decreased. And we've given our users uh, a really good starting point to, uh, to base the rest of their solution builds on. And uh, yes, the PowerShell is probably uh, more complicated than most uh, business users are used to, but uh, uh, developing that list by a business user and then working with uh, the right users in, in IT to extend that is, uh, is a great way of extending that functionality. And so let's take a look at another example and we see that uh, we're looking at the issue tracker again, and uh, we have a an, an, an entry that has a due date. So anything with a date, anything with a due date can probably be best served to have a, a reminder, give their users an opportunity to respond to that entry prior to it um, coming due or, or going past that expiration date. So what we'll do in this, this next uh, uh, example is to uh, use the data from the list to drive actions that we will do inside of Power Automate and we'll send our users um, an, a reminder uh, inside of Microsoft Teams. Uh, you know, a lot of reminders tend to come from email and uh, some people are, are not as responsive to email. So moving things into Microsoft Teams, uh, which is, you know, people's hub for teamwork, it adds value because they don't have to contact switch out to email or out to lists or out to anything. And so, we start with uh, the list. We will move this over into uh, Power Automate. Uh, we'll do things like we'll define the number of days to the reminder. We will have uh, expressions that will give us the exact date. We'll take a look at all of the items in our issue tracker. And then finally, we will uh, send out an adaptive card. And so uh, I'm not a developer. Uh, you won't see me uh, writing code from scratch to do these types of things. So uh, Microsoft has this amazing website called adaptivecards.io and the designer there gives us these examples that we can pick and build from. Uh, for example, I could select this particular card and this one looks to do a, a restaurant review. Um, I can change it to uh, whatever workload I want. In this case, I'll use Teams. And now I can literally start uh, adding and removing elements, uh, adding different things that make sense. And so I go through this uh, user experience of customizing um, what the card will look like. And I'm given this card payload editor on the bottom. And this is the stuff I could never write to save my life. But I can copy it. I can copy the, the payload and I can paste it inside of my uh, team's action and just replace some of the values from static to dynamic where we can see the title, uh, the number of days it's due, and in this case, I'm doing something a little more advanced where I'm going to uh, let the user set the status. So why don't I test this? We'll do a manual run. And if all goes well, I'll get a reminder and I'll also get an opportunity to uh, take action while in context of this reminder. So I get the card from Power Automate, it posted as Flowbot. And this is the, the great value. I'm pushing to my users, they don't have to think about it. They see that they have to take action in 30 days. Uh, we're getting that dynamically from the list data. We get the print button uh, and that whole description from the issue. And then I'm able to uh, set the status if I want, or I could click in and get more information. Great. But in this case, I want to say that this issue has been completed and I'll click update. And we'll see that Microsoft Flow is processing that request. And if I look at the status now for this entry, it should be set closed. So let me refresh my list. Print button not working as completed. And so uh, three examples where I used uh, tools that I had at my disposal. Uh, I don't consider myself a developer. Uh, I'm able to take that a configuration first approach to uh, integrating and customizing uh, lists with other applications and services. And uh, that has served me well, and I think it could serve you as well. Thanks for watching, and we can continue this conversation on LinkedIn or Twitter, and uh, hope to talk to you again soon.